Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. This video is all about the antibiotic drug, penicillin. Alexander Fleming worked at St Mary's Hospital in London as a bacteriologist. And in September 1928, he returned from his summer holiday to find that his petri dishes had been contaminated from some mould from food. After examining these samples under the microscope, he realised that the mould had prevented the bacteria from growing. We now know that the chemical responsible for this was penicillin, which went on to become the first ever antibiotic drug. But how does it work? Surrounding bacterial cell membranes are cell walls made of peptidoglycan. The structural integrity of these are maintained by transpeptidase enzymes. These enzymes connect the sugar molecules together via short peptide molecules, thus forming the peptidoglycan. This bacterial cell wall is the target at which penicillin exerts its antibiotic effects. In gram-positive bacteria, penicillin can access the cell wall and membrane directly, but in gram-negative bacteria, it enters via transport molecules known as porins. Once within the bacteria, it binds to the membrane protein, imaginatively named penicillin binding protein. This activates the penicillin molecule, allowing it to dissociate and bind to transpeptidase enzymes. This inhibits the enzymes, preventing them from maintaining the structural integrity of the bacterial cell walls, which eventually break down. This inconsistent cell wall causes water to flow into the bacterium uncontrollably as it cannot maintain its osmotic gradient. This quickly causes cell lysis and death. The discovery of penicillin completely changed the world of modern medicine. It has led to the successful and easy treatment of once fatal diseases, as well as leading the way for the discovery of other antibiotics. To illustrate its impact, bacterial pneumonia affected a whopping 18% of British soldiers in World War I, but in World War II, due to penicillin, it affected less than 1%. One of the main issues with penicillin, however, is its resistance a phenomenon which I will explain in next week's video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more videos soon.